Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a creative art prompt for your art journal. Sometimes it's fun to just play around with being creative. This is not meant to be perfect by any means. So it's just really meant to relax and calm you and especially in times like this, um, as of this recording, <laughs> the world has been in isolation and we are shutting down a little bit. So it's a good time to do a little art therapy. So I wanted to introduce a series of abstract and easy art prompts that anyone can do, any skill level. If you're at home with little kids, this is something you can do together as well. So the supplies are simple. I have two jars of water here, one for warm and one for cool colors. It just helps keep your colors from getting muddy. You just need a few brushes, some paints, and any type of watercolor paper, whether it's on a block or pad or a book like this. And also uh, what I will be doing is referring to a color palette here and there. And for this one, I'll be doing an analogous colors. That just means they sit next to each other on the color wheel. So you can go ahead and choose any set of colors you like. For the first one, I'll be doing some more cooler colors. And on the second one, I'll be doing a set of warmer colors. I'll be keeping this as real time as possible. So you can go ahead and just let the video play and follow along and just relax into creating. The first thing we'll do is use some clear water and just put in a little bar of water right across the top of the paper. And then I'll be starting with a cool color and dropping in a little bit of paint. So we're playing around with the wet on wet technique, which is just using a wet area on your paper and then dropping in wet paint right on top. For the second line, I'm going right underneath and in some areas letting it touch that water. And as the color naturally bleeds, that's wet on wet. I'm going to angle my brush a little bit here as well. So instead of holding it directly perpendicular, hold it a little bit off to the side as you drag your end of your brush right along that tip of the brush and you can get really fine and thin lines. And that's really all there is for this prompt is very simple shapes, lines, and wet on wet. And we're going to move down the page with just some coolish colors along that analogous theme. This is for your mind to let go and just get into that meditative place where you're just playing with color and you're not really worried about the outcome. Another thing you can play around with is your transparency levels. So I had some really light translucent layers there and now I'm going in with some darker painted stripes with that dark blue. You'll start to see your colors push and pull here. So the more color and saturation, they'll come more to the foreground and feel stronger and the lighter, more translucent layers are going to go into the background. And that's a nice way to build some contrast in your saturation levels.
You can also experiment with the way you are putting down that color in a line. So you can also do a little bit of pressure where you push and pull across the page and that will give you a little bit more of an organic line shape. If you are using a book like this, you may want to pin or clip the sides, the edges of your paper to stop them from curling up. The more water you use, the more your paper will start to bend. And as you get towards the bottom, you can just round out some of your color palette here. I did notice that I have that violet in just one area. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and put it back up in some of the higher parts to give that palette a little bit more balance. All these colors still sit next to each other on the color wheel. So it goes from that yellowish green to blue green, blue to the violet. Okay, so let that side dry and then we'll do our next simple abstract prompt. So we'll mix it up by doing warmer colors and instead of lines or stripes, we'll do circles and blobs. Again, starting with that wet space on your paper first with clear water and then dropping in your warmer colors. I've chosen here to go with more reds and yellows and oranges. This book is also not totally flat, so if you need to prop up a little layer underneath to keep that page flat, you can do that. That will help your colors to dry flat and not run all over each other at an angle. And I also remembered this time to add that clip to keep the paper flat. So just like we did with the stripes on the other side, I'm going in and touching that wet on wet circle area in different sizes of circles and also touching the edges and overlapping a little bit some with clear water and some with more paint. This is for you to have fun and just experiment with your paints and your colors and just watch that wet on wet color bleeding happen on your paper. It's fun to watch that color just spread out over the water.
And then just like we did on the other side, I'm playing around with the size of these and the color saturation. So some will have a lot more paint, some will have a lot more water and be a little bit more clear. So play around with the size of your circles and the amount of paint in each of them. You can also take a step back every now and then, look at your work overall. This one feels very effervescent to me, all these little bubbles all over the page. And then make a decision if you're done or if you wanna keep playing. And just keep remembering, this is about having fun and stay loose and abstract. And just a quick reminder, remember to hit that subscribe button on my channel so you never miss a brand new video.
All right, so wrap up your last bubbles. Maybe they are a few overlapping the edge of that page. And if you're happy with it, go ahead and call it a day. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a chance to have a little mental downtime. And I'll see you in the next video for the next journal prompt.